Good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to get selected column and row value from data grid in WPF. So first of all, design a data grid and then you can find it using uh, custom data type that is user defined data type class and uh, insert items in a class type. Uh, also get the value by using the button control so uh, we all know about the data grid controls uh, data grid text column data grid dot cell templates data templates and uh, in which we can take it in button control so first of all design a class uh, so in this tutorial uh, I have a student class uh, with the two values ID name okay uh, let's uh, take a third value public static no 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 only two value I will take uh, public static observable connect uh, collections types of the list in which we can add uh, the two in which we can add values in the ID and the name so observable collection is the type of the list of the type student okay that return the observable collection type uh, existence system dot collections dot object model get employee uh, get a student sorry uh, get a student uh, types of method variable student equals to new observable collection of the type student that type of the list in which we can add uh, some objects of the student which is hold two value id in the name so first to add a single student first student sorry student dot add new student for student access id and name id is one and a name is jacob okay again copy this and paste in the next line for your new students the second name is first to change the ID to and name is bill okay now return the student of the type observable collection student in a grid panel control add a data grid with auto generated column false the name of the data grid is grid 1 okay add a data grid dot columns in the data grid dot columns I will add a data grid text column header of the text column is ID and I want to bind the header uh, data grid text column using the ID pro public property of the class binding ID okay that's fine similarly I will bind the data grid text column using name so replace the ID with the name also change the header of the second data grid text column that is name now the structure is ready I want to get uh, the details by using pressing the button so add a data grid template column dot cell template data grid template column in which we can add data grid template column dot cell template 
data template add a button control when we click on the button we can uh, I want to show in this uh, example when we click on the button then we get the ID and the name of the student so button B1 and click event also B1 click okay that's fine also we have a first of all bind uh, the data grid using data context oops student dot get a student so here we have a data context class student st equals to I want to get the information of the student so grid one dot selected row selected item sorry selected item as student of the type is student so string get the student ID so st dot student ID ID similarly string name student name equals to st dot student name convert dot to st to integer teaser dot to string sorry okay that's fine message box dot show student id and student name student id single space student name okay that's fine yeah it's not a value in it because the item source property not assigned to data grid so add a item source property content equals to click okay in the code behind file remove the data context with the grid one dot item source equals to the student dot get a student yeah we have two rows that is one jacob and two bill here we have a auto generated columns is true so remove this in the grid view auto generated columns false so this is fine thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching that is error when we click just outside the error object reference was not set for instance of object so thank you thank you very much